I really, really like this stuff. It is very, very light. I recommend. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this supplement slash nootropic by the name of Coloracetam. Now, um, a couple of people have come on my channel, um, subscribers saying that they, like, they appreciate me doing these nootropic videos, but they don't really know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna do a little backstory about this particular nootropic. It's a member of the Racetam family, and there's, I mean, like over eight Racetams. People say that there's eight, but then even people on my videos say there's prescription racetams that I've never heard of. So there's lots and lots and lots of racetams. And basically they work on the choline receptor in one way or another. Choline is an interesting compound. It kind of gives you this focus, this memory recall. When you're talking, your words come out a little bit better, but it's also not something that you abuse or that gets you high, but it's also a neurotransmitter in your body. So this is very, very good for learning. And most of the racetams are kind of geared towards also Alzheimer's patients because I think Alzheimer's have really really low levels of choline and that kind of makes you delirious so these are kind of like Alzheimer's type nootropics technically they're kind of like drugs but there's no real abuse potential there's no really getting high so it's kind of weird saying that so coloracetam is kind of one of the lesser known ones I tried phenylparacetam hydrazide I tried oxyracetam and I tried anoracetam phenylparacetam hydrazide was one of my favorite supplements that I ever came across ever I love it the other two racetams, oxyracetam, and anoracetam, I got very little benefit. And then very soon after, if I started to continue to take it, I got lots of side effects. So it just kind of scared me from taking it. I'm sure if I took a low dose one time, I'd probably be okay, but I don't know. I just really wasn't interested in those. So when I was reordering my phenylparacetam hydrazide, you have to spend $50 to get free shipping on this website. And so usually the phenylparacetam I get is about 35. So I'll usually get another nootropic to review along Side it and decided to go with coloracetam. I had really no hopes for this one. I was just going to try it out. Um, when you look at the chemical structure, it's very, very long. And I think yeah, something like Nupept is very, very potent. And this is supposed to be double as potent as Nupept milligram for milligram. So they say the dose for this stuff's about, I think, 10 to 40 milligrams. And I got to say, when I was trying it, I tried 10 right off the bat. It, it really is nice, it's really awesome, but it's also very, very subtle. Sometimes you question you question if you notice it, you question if, if it's there, but then when you go and look back on it later on in the day, you're like, yeah, that seemed to work well with me. I seem to like only have positives, although they were slight and I didn't have any issues, you know what I mean? You know when a supplement works for you, if it doesn't work for you. So I was just repeatedly having good experiences with this stuff. I would usually do it one, maybe two times in the day, and it would be something to zigzag between my phenylparacetam and this, because I love phenylparacetam, and I would wanna take a little bit of aracetam almost every day, but like I said, I don't like the other two aracetams. So this, for me, is my second favorite racetam. I think this was discovered in Japan, and then it was sold to a company in San Diego, and they decided not to use it. And so because they haven't used it, we can use it now. So it has been very well studied. It went through some clinical trials. You know, it, is, it has some research to it. So it's not some unstudied thing. You know, people were... People patented it and then also sold it. Apparently it's called coloracetam because it's supposed to increase your colors and your perception. I really didn't get that to be honest with you guys. Colors, like they generally looked good to me, but I, I don't think I'm somebody who's really gonna notice like an overly abundant style of colors unless it was like forced onto me. But I think that's why they called it coloracetam because it does increase your vision. I think it's actually supposed to be good for like your vision and stuff too. It could possibly heal parts of your vision. The main mechanism of action here before I go is apparently you could get choline from stuff like beef and eggs but the main thing in your body that we really want is acetylcholine and this basically converts choline to acetylcholine more efficiently so that's basically all it does and I like that idea you know it's basically just converting more of what you want in your body versus some of the other racetams they say it goes throughout your body and it finds these reserve choline sources and then releases them that kind of scared me because I feel like those reserves are there for a reason. I kind of like that this one just enhances 
the transition from choline to acetylcholine. So I really, really like this stuff. It is very, very light. I recommend probably starting with 20 to 30 milligrams. That's what I liked for me. Some people get uh, effects off 10 milligrams or less. Other people will say that this is their favorite racetam, and I could kind of see why right now because every time I've taken it, I've just had an overall pleasant experience, although it's been a bit light. So anyways, guys, I do recommend checking out Coloracetam if you're interested in just kind of like a brain boosting um, experience. I had little to no side effects on this one. Um, I had much more side effects on the Anoracetam and the Oxyracetam. And um, yeah, guys, I really do enjoy it. I do recommend you try Phenoparacetam Hydrazide first because I like that one more. That one is a little more noticeable to me too. But if you've already got that one, I highly recommend checking out this Coloracetam because it seemed like this far off Racetam, but it ended up being one of my favorites. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Coloracetam. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.